In this video, you will learn how to analyze response surface methodology data. In previous video, we have designed the RSM experimental design. So firstly, we open that design and go to open design and select that file. Click on open. So this is the design uh, for optimization of independent variables. And you can watch my previous video if you are uh, new to this program so firstly we start analyzing this data but before this uh, i forgot to mention one thing in previous video that after you have designed this experiment go to this graph columns and here you can uh, see that there is correlation of independent variables so if there is a strong correlation between these independent variables then it can negatively affect our models so firstly we check either there is a correlation between these uh, independent variables or not so here uh, selected are surfactant concentration and homogenization time you can see here their correlation is zero so that's good for us and additionally you can find a table here you can see here there is only self correlation between these variables and no correlation exists between any two independent variables you can also uh, check uh, the correlation between two from here you can change this option for example instead of homogenization time i change it to oil content and here you will see that this correlation value is zero so let's start analyzing this data in analysis select a response one by one so firstly we select droplet size so i i have not entered the response values so i have uh, already made a separate design and enter this value to save time so firstly we open that design if you want to enter this value you can pause this video and uh, enter these values and you can also run this experiment and then enter the response value in these sections then we start analyzing this data in analysis menu first select this response here different sets of commands are um, sequentially arranged so we will arrange um, analyze this data by following these tabs one by one first tab is transformation you can see here that uh, here the option shows transformation none because we don't need transformation the value ratio of maximum to minimum is 1.60 and if this value is greater than 10 then transformation is required so in this case no transformation is required so we go to next tab which is fit summary here you will find uh, different models uh, and uh, these uh, analysis suggest which model is best for your data and here you will find the display option for example if you want to display single table you can click here if you want that four tables are displayed in a single screen then you can see here four tables are displayed i will use this one because uh, it will give a clear look for you first is the fit summary you can see here that software uh, suggests that quadratic model is best for our data and we cannot use uh, cubic model because that is arised so next go to next here tab sequential model sum of square the sequential model sum of square shows how terms of increasing complexity contribute to the total model and the significance of adding the quadratic terms to the mean block linear and two factor interactions already in model so here is also uh, um, the explanation is given that select the highest order polynomial where the additional terms are significant and the model is not analyzed. So we will select that terms up to that terms where these are significant and the model is not analyzed. You can see here that here uh, it's just that we can include quadratic terms in two factor interaction linears and means but we cannot include the cubic terms. So here uh, we it is also suggest that quadratic model is suitable for our data next go to lack of fit test lack of fit test uh, indicate that independent variables has considerable effect on the response if its value is non-significant so lack of significance test 
and the selected model should have insignificant data lack of it so here you can see that uh, it has a non-significant la lack of it so it's just that quadratic model is suitable then at the end model summary statistic is here and overall you can see here that r square value is higher for this and there is uh, adjusted and predicted r square reasonable agreement and they have lower standard deviation so and the press value is also given here you can see here from this all table that the one model which is suitable for our data is quadratic and it is also highlighted by this software next we move to uh, this tab which names this model here these are different uh, terms which will be used in in this model and there is also option uh, if you want to include some terms you double click on this and here you can see that this term is selected if we again double click on this this is unselected and if you uh, think that some terms are insignificant and you want to remove this model just click, double click on this and those terms will be removed similarly you can add these terms here another option is process order you can uh, change the model but uh, mostly we the model remain the same but sometimes software suggests two models at this at that case you can change this model from using this option so i uh, will not change this option because uh, our software suggests quadratic model for our data so that's good that's okay next we move to next section which is anova analysis and here i will select single table display firstly this table is analysis of variance you can see here that uh, this indicate the effect of individual terms on the response var variable which is the particle size uh, in this case overall you can see that model is significant so that's good for us uh, if it is not significant then we have we need major uh, changes in our experimental design and second is lack of fit test as i already discussed this should be non-significant and and in this case is it is also non-significant now we will see what are the effect of uh, their linear terms their interactions and quadratic terms you can see here these are uh, the value less than 0 0.05 indicate significant effect and software also compiled this value you can see here uh, in p value you can see here it is written that Factor A, B, C, A indicate mix surfactant, B indicate homogenization time and disperse phase and their quadratic terms of A square and B square are significant. So you can also see from B value and also see here software also compile this value. So you can use this to indicate which is the significant or non-significant terms. In ANOVA uh, tabs and if you go to fit statistic you will find uh, these different values one thing is important in this the r square value this should be uh, more than 0 0.7 and in this case it is 0 0.95 that's good and another is the, the difference between adjusted r square and predicted r square and you can see here that and the software explanation is given here the predicted r square of it is reasonable agreement with the adjusted R square, their difference is less than 0 0.2 and here is the uh, value of adequate precision a ratio greater than 4 is desirable and it is all it is 20 that's very good and here you can see the CV value which is also lower 2.97 so overall our uh, this and you can see that this model is very good so in this model comparison statistics you will find the value of press bic aic that is not mostly used uh, and if you need then you can use this table then you uh, go to coefficients it's very important uh, it indicates these values and uh, if you kept the other terms constant then it uh, include the unit change when you change this value what type of change will occur if all other factors remain constant here is also explanation is given here the coefficient estimate represents the expected change in response per unit change in factor value when all remaining factors are held constant so for after that this is the coded equation you uh, decoded mean the values are in positive and 
negative term so that is not actual change but it is the relative effect of these independent variables and if you uh, want actual uh, what type of actual change will appear you will see this uh, uh, equation which is the actual equation of this and you can if you have independent variables value you can put in these equations and you can cut the droplet size at that independent variable so that is the regression equation for our model and in this particular case this is for droplet size in ANOVA after there are different diagnostic tests it is normal plot it should be uh, arranged linearly if it is s shaped or other than your data uh, data is not good so you have change you make a change in this your data here is the residue and predicted its value should be in within these red lines and that's good residential wellness runs cook distance and maximum value should be here and it is within this range but then other test box cox predicted versus actual residential versus factors leverage and defects and dfbts and finally you will find the option of report these compile all you these test value here if your value exceeded or not within range then the software display in other colors for example red or any other colors and you can find that uh, this particular run is not performing exactly you can also uh, run that, that experiment again and here there is actual values of your run which you entered software and this is the predicted value of softwares and if there is larger difference exists between actual and predicted you can repeat that experiment again and so after that uh, you will learn uh, up to this point you have learned how to analyze this data in rsm design in next uh, video we will learn about the model graphs and optimization so uh, up to that uh, you can also uh, repeat same experiment for these two response which is pianzidine value and carotene retention and you can uh, do uh, your own and in next video i will teach you about the optimization through rsm so thanks for watching this tutorial